What's going on, you guys? Eminence Finance Community here, back again with another video. And right now, I'm about to do something that I normally don't do, which is, you know, bring myself into a topic that I don't talk about. You know, this whole men and women, you know, red pill and, you know, alpha and beta simp type of conversation. And I'm bringing myself into this because I saw a TikTok from a woman that really pissed me off, to be honest. And it highlights a lot of the issues that is wrong with a lot of men in today's world. There's too many betas, too many weaklings in this world. Too many men that are weaklings in this world. And it's, and it's producing these types of women which I'm about to expose that like to just use men for their resources and, and think that they have to do absolutely nothing in a relationship, which is, you know, that basically what this chick is that I'm about to expose. It's not the chick that you see right now on the screen. Um, but I'm gonna play the video in a little bit, but yeah, it's like, this chick that I'm about to expose, she's a housewife to a, a, a millionaire man. I believe he's in his 50s. And like I said, you know, she just sits up in the house and does nothing. And she brags about it. She's talking about how her life is great, easy, this and that. And, you know, I'm going to stop the video at, at, at points that annoy me about her. And the fact that she's a housewife this does not annoy me, by the way. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a housewife. But the fact that she does nothing while this guy pays all the bills and then some, you know, it bothers me. But let me go ahead and play the video and I'm going to break down and expose this chick for who she is. And, you know, break down why this dude that she's messing with is a complete waste of time, beta, simp, mangina. So let's get on with it. Privilege of being a stay-at-home mom, like to a husband who provided for me. I don't been a stay-at-home mom on government assistance, where the government paid my bills and gave me food stamps and Medicaid, but never a stay-at-home mom to a man. So I wanted to come on here and answer this question because I feel like representation is so very important, and it's kind of sad to see black women um, ask what it's like to have a provider because they're only used to government assistance with that being said please don't compare your life to mine everybody's situation is different and i notice when i make these type of videos a lot of women it triggers an insecurity and they come in the comments um very upset <laughs> so what is it like for me being a stay-at-home mom and having a provider so my husband is an investor. We do own a dealership. He does trade stocks, but majority of his income is he owns a bunch of uh, real estate properties during the 2008 housing crisis. It made a lot of people millionaires and he's one of them. Very intelligent, fine black man. Okay. So basically being that he doesn't have to report to a nine to five and he's his own boss and makes passive income. Um, he's able to spend way more time than the average man can with his family. He's able to be a full time dad and still pay all the bills. So that makes life like really really easy for me like my life is basically on easy mode and that's just being honest i am not a morning person my husband is because he is also ex-military so um he wakes up in the morning and works out in our gym and he fixes the kids breakfast he gets them ready for daycare yes they are in daycare even though we don't work jobs they're still in daycare so by the time i get up i have pretty much a free day to do whatever i want to do sometimes all right as we go to the i'm gonna stop the video right here real quick and talk about what bothers me about this whole dynamic as you heard, this woman said that this man is the one that pays all the bills, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with a man paying all the bills in the household because, you know, you're the head of the house as a man. Cool. But the fact that this wimp, and yes, he's a wimp, 
I don't care if he's been in the ex-military. I don't give a damn about all that. This this dude's a sucker. So the fact that this sucker pays all the bills for this woman, and I know she's attractive, very attractive woman. I'm not saying that she's not, but you know, there's not a ounce of attractiveness. I don't care how pretty a woman is. I'm not gonna be paying all the bills for a woman that thinks that she could just sit up and lay up in the house and die, and not do nothing at all. Like you heard her say, her husband cooks the cooks the food for the kids in the morning and all this other shit. And I don't care if she's not a morning person. Get your ass up and do that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? If that's me, I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm gonna require her to fucking do something around the house, but you know, that's just me. I'm just I'm not no beta. But yeah, you heard her say he cooks the 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 children food, the breakfast or whatever, and gets them ready for daycare. Now the worst part about that is this guy taking them to daycare and all of that. Why is that the worst part? Because number one, you know, you got you you're so called a, a real estate investor, so you you got all this free time. Why the hell are you taking your kids to daycare? But that's not even the that's not even the bad part. The bad part is that you got this so called stay at home mom housewife. Why is she not the daycare center? <laughs> like really, like you you you're sending your kids to daycare when you got a wife that's at home. Why don't she watch the damn kids and do something instead of? Sitting on her ass and just taking advantage of all the money she's getting from her beta ass husband. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I don't have a problem with a man paying the bills, but me as a man, if 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 I'm in that role, which is a masculine role, you know, the woman that I marry is basically going to be somewhat of my em employee. Like, if you're my housewife, you're my employee. Like, I will give you money and pay you money if you're doing things around the house like you're the one that's gotta obviously cook and clean for the family that's the basic stuff but more so than this than just the basics you're gonna have to be running a lot of errands around the house you know what i'm saying answering the phone and, and and scheduling the appointment the appointments and stuff like that a traditional housewife has duty She's just not, just because she's a housewife doesn't mean that she stays at home and does shit all day. This chick is not a housewife. She's just a, a leech, the way I see it. And she found a weak-ass man, and I don't care if he, if he was in the fucking military. He's a weak-ass motherfucker, in my eyes. She found a weak-ass man that she can just use her beauty, because she she's fine. I'll give her that. She can use her beauty and stuff like that, her vagina, to make him simp for her and his entire family. That's how I see it. Like, because there's no true masculine man that's going to put up with a woman just sitting at home and not doing anything around the house at all. You feel me? Like, that's that. that's just being a simp. And like I said, I don't mind, you know, taking care of your woman and paying all the bills and stuff like that. But you got to man up and require her to do some things around the house. Because just because you're, you're, you're a woman doesn't mean that you, you, you can just sit on your ass and look pretty all day. No. Traditional housewives usually have duties. You feel me? But um, yeah, let me just continue with the rest of the video. Beach. Sometimes I go to brunch with my friends. Sometimes I go to Pilates. Um, I can pretty much do whatever I want to do. As far as bills, I don't see bills. I honestly could not tell you um, how much our electricity bill is right now. I couldn't tell you um, how much our property taxes are. I can't tell you insurance. I All right, I'll stop it again. Again, I don't mind a man paying all the bills, but the fact that she don't even know how much her bill her bills are, that's a red flag. That means she's fucking stupid. But let me continue. I can't tell you anything because I don't I don't see bills. My husband And the reason why she's fucking stupid is because, you know, although you don't pay bills, you should at least have uh, some sort of awareness of, you know, what the bills are and how much it is. That's just, you know, a part of being an adult.
But let me just continue. He takes care of everything with a smile on his face. He never asks me for anything. He never tells me how much stuff costs. Um, he has always said my job is to make sure you never have to worry. You're not sad. You're not worried. You're not stressed. He has always said that is my job, and he backs that up 110%. I have housekeepers. They come every two days, so I don't have to worry about cleaning or anything like that. That's taken care of. Oh, so you don't know how to clean, so you got to hire a housekeeper. Okay. <laughs> what a useless-ass woman. I'm sorry. I don't like to attack people in their character, but I'm sorry. This this woman is useless. She's useless. As far as spending money, like I said, my husband takes care of literally everything. My name is on all of his accounts. Um, I also have another card, and my name is on his credit cards and all of that. So if I want to get surgery or fillers or shop or um, buy groceries, or like my husband pretty much takes care of literally everything. Now, I do have my own private accounts, but I never have to use my own money. My money is pretty much savings and emergencies because I was making money before I met my husband and I do have my own income. But it's pretty much just, you know, backup, just savings. And um, like if it's, it's his birthday or Father's Day, I'll buy him like an expensive gift and use money out of um, my personal account. But other than that... Okay, that's the only decent thing that she does. You know, she uses her own money to buy him gifts, but that just doesn't just... That still doesn't justify how useless she is. But let me continue. He pretty much takes care of everything. Um, cash, he does give me cash. But for example, Mother's Day, I received $40,000 to go shopping or whatever, and that was in cash. Um, my name is on all of the properties. My name is on all of his businesses. The dealership license is in my name. Um, my husband always, like, he's a real provider. He wants to make sure that um, no matter what, me and the kids will always be good with or without him so when he came to me and he was like babe um i'm thinking about opening up this dealership i want you to take the um dealership's license test because i want you to be vice president of the dealership so i took the test passed the test and um yeah i'm vp of the dealership so as a wife like live a carefree life also make sure that your name is on all of the assets as well honey okay so yeah that's pretty much what it's like like life is on easy mode you don't have to worry about anything um you know like i said my situation is different my husband can spend more time with his family um that definitely makes the trust like through the roof because it's like i know what you're doing all day you're with me so and it also like it makes the the marriage way more happier because we're like taking showers together at one o'clock in the afternoon instead of on somebody's job <laughs> but yeah that's what it's like for me um it's the best feeling in the world it's not boring at all i think a lot of wives who say that it's boring is because their husbands are at work all day where maybe he doesn't make enough money to where you can entertain yourself while he's at work. I don't know, but for me, it's like the best feeling in the world. I've never had the pre Okay, that's the end of the video. Yeah, guy is whipped. He's whipped. He's pee whipped. Because <laughs> because like I said, she's a she's a very attractive woman, so she has him wrapped around. Her little finger is basically how I interpret that whole dynamic of a relationship, of a so-called marriage. Unbelievable. And what's even worse is all the jackasses in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, supporting this woman and her devious actions. Oh, yeah. And word on the street, you know, she, from what I heard, she used to be a stripper. So that's, that makes it even worse. This dude tried to turn uh, H-O-E into a housewife, basically, <laughs> and fail miserably because he's paying all these bills while she's sitting at home just doing absolutely crap. But, um, yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy out here, man. Too many, too many betas out here, man. Way too much betas out here. And the numbers prove that, too, because, you know, 
if you look it up, testosterone amongst adult men has been on a, a crazy decline over the last 45 years due to the environment and, and all this crap that's going on in, in the food, the plastics and et cetera. So and it's showing a lot of there's a lot more bitch made dudes out here. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, no real man is just going to have a woman sit up in the house doing nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, like I said, I, I, I don't, there's, there's nothing wrong with a man providing and paying all the bills. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, as a man, you should do that. But that doesn't mean a woman just sits around and does nothing in the house. Like, she don't even cook no food. She don't even know how to clean. She hires people to clean up the house. It's ridiculous. Like, if I'm making all this money, <laughs> you're going to have to do some things for me. Like, you're basically my employee and I'm your boss. That's how I look at the dynamic. That's how it's been. Like, that's that's a traditional marriage. You know what I'm saying? The woman takes on the man's last name. So you're representing your man when you marry him. That's how it is. You feel me? So, yeah. This channel is called the Eminence Finance Community. And like I said, I normally don't attack people like this. I usually attack uh, companies. But... The eminence, part of being at the eminence finance community is to, you know, use your time and your finances accordingly. And that means to not invest in a woman that's not going to do shit for you in your goddamn life. Like this woman is to her husband. But he's too beta to realize that, though. But me, I would never do that. And for those of you who follow me and your men. You know, I'm going to encourage you to not do that. You feel me? You got to be a man in this world. You you got to put your foot down. You got to actually marry a woman that actually would, you know, be your, serve you and do things for you and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man, <laughs> you can't, you can't just be having a, a woman just leech off all your money like that, fam. Like, Nah. Nah, and on top of that, she used to, you know, be a dancer, a stripper, or whatever the heck. That's crazy, man. You're turning a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> it's not funny, but damn, man, that's crazy. It's crazy, man. Like I said, men are just getting too fucking soft these days. Yeah, we, we got a man to fuck up. And like I said, this is the Eminence Finance Community. You know what I'm saying? Put your invest invest into a good woman, not a woman that's gonna use you for all your money and your time and stuff like that. Like homeboy is literally cooking the meals and paying the bills and doing everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't mind you cooking food and stuff, but you know that every time he cooks, and she don't cook at all. You feel me? Like, I don't really believe in strict gender roles. I believe like you know, if a woman if a woman wants to take out the trash. Every now and then she can do that. She can, if she wants to do something, you know, hands on, she can do that too if she knows how to do it. But, you know, primarily, predominantly, that's a man's role, but that doesn't mean a woman can't do it. So I'm not saying that. So, but I'm just saying, like, in general, this woman needs to just do something. And I'm tired of, she's, and, 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 and the biggest thing that bothers me the most about this is that. These TikTok videos is encouraging young women to follow in her freaking footsteps. Like she's a big problem in the, in, in the community, especially in the black community. You know what I'm saying? Like just getting men for the bag and that's it. Because that's what it is. She don't love this dude. She loves the bag that he's bringing. I guarantee you if he was to, you know, lose all his money, she will not respect this dude at all. I guarantee that. But um, I might expose some more TikTok videos on this chick and then move on to something else because it is good content and it's just to raise some awareness and, you know, hopefully encourage men to not be like her, this chick's so-called husband. And hopefully the woman who's watching my video understands that, you know, we're not eight, a man is not an ATM machine. You feel me? So... I'm I'm bringing real I'm 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 talking I'm bringing real stuff to this now. You know what I'm saying? Men have some damn pride and be a fucking man and women act like a woman and actually do things for your man and stuff like that. If you if you if you're a housewife, do some shit around the house. 
because that's what traditional housewives do. That's what a real housewife does. Not what this woman is talking about in this video. But um, that's the end of the video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. And that's it. Peace out.